Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we are fans of board games both new and old and today we've got something definitely and decidedly new. Um, so we're going to be unboxing Radiant Offline Battle Arena which will be getting to Kickstarter backers fairly soon and I believe I have the first copy in Europe. Well, hey. Now, to be fair, I've got special connections to make this happen. Um, designer Jack Murray is a local board game designer um, and somebody who I know. So I got very fortunate to get this copy. So I'd like to thank him for that. Um, so let's see what this is about. So I know it is a card game. Woohoo! Um, and from the box, it looks like there's going to be a whole bunch of incredibly cool characters. Um, so the box itself is lovely. This is all embossed and quite waxy. Um, good solid box. It's an interesting shape. It's a, like a square. It's not that deep. It's got artwork on the side, which is really nice. Um, and it's for two players. It is 14 plus and takes about 30 minutes to play, which is pretty cool. Has it got pictures on all the sides? Oh, it does. So it'll look good no matter what way you put it on your shelf. It's very pretty. Um, definitely the front of it is quite stark colored compared to the, all the brightness of the sides. Let's see what's on the back. All right then. So welcome to the arena. So this looks very much like, uh, Magic the Gathering card game, or you know those those kind those kind of kind of strategic games. And what do we have to do? Assemble your team, defeat your enemies, become a champion. That sounds doable. And here's the list of all different types of cards and things that are going to be inside it. Clearly, we're going to have a lot of cards. It's a card game, and the hints of the art here are really quite nice. Um, so Radiant Offline Battle Arena, Roba. Okay, that's a good. It sounds almost like Moba, but not quite. Um, so let's see what's inside. It is rather a nice box, actually. It's really nice in your hands. Oh, it's a very deep box, actually. So, turn around. So, first things first, we have the rule book. Mm, pretty hefty stuff. What's it made of? Um, a ticket of paper would remind you of the comic books and things. So, let's see what it's like. So, this is quite a serious rule book. I do like the fact it has a contents page, which is really good. Um, this components tells you about heroes and uh, with card games you are going to get that we're going to have to tell about each card I like the colour here and how it's like sectioned off inside the colours um, to make it easier to read so it tells you all about your hero then you have a deity, skill cards with occasional pictures, it's quite nice um, the font is a good size too and I like that um, all of the different keywords are bolded so you can always go back and check those out conduit cards, items Oh, there seems to be a lot going on here. It's going to be a busy card game. And then, so how to play the golden rules. That's an interesting one now to do in a rule book. I quite like that. So, oh, very good. I like that very much. Um, and then we've key concepts. How to play, all the different icons. Not too many icons. It's always good. Hopefully this one is one that is quick to get up and get going. There's your play area. Interesting photo. Okay, um, I'll just set up your deployment. Look, there's a lot to get through here at the turn. This is looking like a rather advanced card game. Although card games are usually something that one person teaches to another, I think, you know, without a rule book. If I think of any of the kind of the card games I've learned, I never learned them from a, a rule book. So I think it's difficult for cards. You have a lot to explain um, that sometimes, you know, would be kind of natural choices, but you have to write them all out in a rule book. So you end up with quite a big rule book. Here we go, keywords, heroic keywords, all the different keywords, very nice, and a glossary. Excellent. So drafting, the ban, some tips and strategies. It's very cool. Um, look at the art, the art's really cute. And then the credits are on the black page. Okay, so I do believe it looks like we have some kind of health tokens. So we got like heart, um, I was gonna say heart tokens, but they're blood droplet tokens. And it looks like some sort of energy tokens. Let's see, the cardboard's quite thick, so I'll pop one out and see how it goes. I'll keep my rule, do it from the back. Yeah, they're very thick and chunky um, pieces of cardboard. You know what I mean? They're not they're not cheap. They're the super solid -y ones, so that's good. Oh, it's a shame they're so tiny. Okay, woo! So, as you guys may or may notice, I have an expansion inside as well. Ooh, the rooster expansion, but we'll do that in a moment. We might as well get through the base game first, right? So, put that over there. I'll put it there, because that makes sense. Okay. Oh, there are many, many cards. <laughs> Why am I surprised by this? Okay. Oh, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. They're in like, a, in, in like a little insert. And here's how we know our quality card games, folks. They've got one of these pulley tabs. Yep. 
Like, so far the artwork has been hinted at, so I'm curious to see how it offends them. These are very kind of slippy and durable cards. They're not linen finished, but they're very, very nice indeed. So you can have a look at some of the artwork and how the cards are laid out. So, so there's duplicates, which is good. So we've got some crystals, more crystals. We'll make sure you guys can see all of this. Um, Boundless Rage. So these ones obviously kind of sit around and do things. Okay, here we go. So some cards that go the right way up. So Warforge. So they obviously have an attack and a defense value. There we go. They seem kind of related almost don't they, in the pictures. 10,000 drills. There's more. Um, oh, well, I suppose they're all the same cards. Look, Octavian. Okie dokie. So then I quite like the art style actually. It's kind of cartoony, but not overly cartoony. Looks good. Sadly, these cards are meaningless until you know what they do, but they're very pretty. That one's quite nice as well. And the layout on the cards is good. And they really feel very nice in your hands, I have to say. So we'll have to figure out how to put all these together, but it looks really good. Okay, so then next. I kind of knew when we were opening this, guys, it was going to be, let's look at a pile of cards, because, you know, card games just... That's how they work. Uh, I know you've got the line. Don't give up on me. There we go. Whoop. Now. <laughs> so what's next? Whoop. We have a lot of plastic today. There we go. So this is more of these kind of crystal things. Conjure deal damage to all attacking heroes. That sounds kind of awesome. So it kind of sounds like something I would play. So I think they go with those, with the sideways ones. So these ones now all have the green on the back. Here we go. So this, oh, we got items. So we got shields, a spark of divinity artifact. Okay, Thor and play. Some boots and pots and more nice things. Yeah, the artwork is really, really nice. I'm waiting to just kind of see more characters now as we go down. Um, that would be interesting. Here we go. So. An elemental evoker, this is Bran and Mato, very cool. Yeah, these are nice now. You get to feel like uh, you're a bit more connected with the game, I think, when you see characters that you're playing, as opposed to the kind of equipment and items. She's badass, look at her go, I like that. Um, yeah, these, these characters look interesting. You kind of want to get to know them a little better or play with them, you know, they're, they're cool. Whoa, <laughs> I was not anticipating that. What happens? Why are they crossed out? Oh, so you're alive or you're dead? Must be the case. These are very pretty though on the alive side. Let's flip these over and have a look. Here we go. So here's kind of like the full art for everybody. Octavian. Oh, they got names now. Eleanor. Rin. These are fantastic actually. They look very, very good. Itotia? Ito Itotia? <laughs> oh, cat person. We can't go wrong with that. Viola. She looks a bit crazy. Look at that face. She's like, ah. Iskandar, Corvus, okay, Matto, and we're back to Bran. So they're quite nice. I think they're very, it's nice to be able to see kind of the full art. And what was left? Ooh, oh, life kind of things. All right, and then more of the, oh, the monarchs. I do like me some deer. Rate Lord, an oracle. Interesting. I'm very curious to see how this all fits together um, and how these things are all kind of connected in. Yes, I did say connected it, and I totally meant it. Right, so what other types of cards are we going to come across here now at the end? Bye bye, plastic. Be gone. So we get an infernal evoker. Like mechanic for them. Another brand. Interesting. Maybe there are various versions. These have arrows. Maybe this is like they level up or something. That would be my guess. Oh, yay. Oh, I love these. This is just what world needs more of, like um, helpful cards tell you what happens so here's all of the phases and how you go through them and then the different hero actions is on the back perfect that's just what i was hoping to see actually i hope there's more than one of those not looking like it it's weird for just what you could put it between both of you in a two player game so these are all blue backed so these must be all different kind of things so these look like kind of like action cards so clash cheap trick stasis so yeah it seems like an interesting kind of world to have set things where you have all these different heroes and whatnot going against each other. Horrify, that's a good picture. Quite like that. 
yeah the cards are really really lovely the more i run them through my hands the more i like them and i am an aficionado of fine cards so this is everything that's in the base game yep have you had you heard of this game before you did did you back it on kickstarter um i know i knew about it <laughs> did you um so now let's see what we got in the box Ooh. so in the tiny box which has this very cool looking purple phoenix on the cover i do like that uh, oh the roster expansion i called it the rooster expansion earlier i'm so good at this okay so it says new challenges appear contains three brand new heroes Woo! i do love a good hero holding out for a hero all right oh we'll look at the full art bit first because that's the best way to learn who they are i think okay so our new heroes are Ishiro. Clearly, this guy is huge. Ooh, Vigo. Very cool. And Eos. So that's our, our, our Dark Phoenix kind of vibe we have going. Cool. So now let's see what kind of cards they got. So this is Ishiro's card. Legendary Athlete. I quite like that. Oh, yeah, they've got like some nice quotes too. Uh, how am I only noticing this now? So we got Illuminated Invoker, Love's Flare. So we got a little bit of more of everything that was in the base game. It doesn't look like it, cha it changes it. It just allows you, it gives you more options um, to do more things. Deal Stun. It's a really pretty picture as well. Rebirth. Inspiration. Yeah, so exactly. So a little bit more of the same. Or there are cards that match these characters too. Just like in the, the base game. And then Overkill. Because there's no kill like Overkill. Um... Brilliant. So this is everything that I have seen in the box. Unfortunately, it doesn't really give you much of a representation of what the game's about because I'm just here scrolling through cards and showing you the pretty pictures. But if you did want to know what was in the box, this is what you're getting. If the overkill would willingly go back in the box. There we go. I like to, I like to keep the expansion separate till I played with the base game a couple of times. Do you guys do that too? You know, if you buy something and it happens to have an expansion in it. I don't know. I'd never play with everything straight away. I have to kind of like play the base game to death a bit first. So yeah, so you've been watching Board Game Inquisition and we've just unboxed, re -unboxed um, Radiant Offline Battle Arena. Um, what do you guys think? Does it look interesting? I know I'm pretty interested, I have to say. Um, I like how everything's kind of put together. Um, it looks like it'll be a really, really fun game. So um, thank you for watching. And if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about the game, why not? let me know in the comments below or if you want to do something nice you can like or subscribe to the channel and then you'll know when i make new unboxing videos and until next time i'll be here playing games and hopefully unboxing something else just as exciting as this take care everybody Bye bye